Hello friends, welcome back to new lecture on steady flow energy equation problems. Now in series we are solving a third problem and as I am always telling that you should read a problem carefully, you should understand a problem very carefully so that the solving problem will become a quite easier one. Okay, let's understand a problem here. A gas turbine. Now application which given in this particular problem is turbine. So in steady flow energy equation you should understand which particular application is given and in this particular problem it's given turbine in the previous problem it was given a compressor now it is turbine compressor device which generate which consumes the power whereas turbine is a device which will generate a power so gas turbine operated with supply of 17 kg of hot air per kg so 17 kg of air is going to the compressor and this is given mass flow rate. By the unit also we can understand 17 kg per second. Mass flow rate is given to you 17 kg per second. With the specific enthalpy, so at the inlet, it's at supply means what? At the inlet, it's a 1200 kilojoule per kg. As it is per kg, I have written here H1. Okay. With specific enthalpy is 1200 kilojoule per kg. The outgoing specific enthalpy, what is outgoing specific enthalpy that we denote by H2 and that is what 360 kilojoule per kg that's outgoing specific enthalpy is given to you. The inlet and outlet velocities are 60 meter per second 150 meter per second we know inlet and outlet that we denote by velocity V1 and V2 so they have given V1 and V2 what is V1? V1 is a 60 meter per second and outlet is 150 meter per second okay so this is inlet velocity of gas this is exit velocity of gas to the turbine find out the power developed by turbine so what we have to find out we have to find out power developed that is nothing but work output and generally power is measured in kilowatt okay so here what we have to determine we have to determine that the power power developed that power developed is nothing but W in kilowatt that is what we have to find out that is what we have to find out further they have given assuming heat carried away by cooling water is 2 kilojoule per kg now what's mean by heat carried away heat carried away by cooling water generally for the turbine we consider that there is insulation provided but sometime there is a cooling water means if I draw if I draw the turbine figure as like this so turbine figure symbolic representation we do I like this one that's a symbolic representation okay whereas this is the inlet section this is the inlet section this is the exit section so I can write all property at inlet is 1 and all property at outlet is 2 okay and from where we can take work output the work output shaft is over present over here that's a W okay now around this turbine if temperature of turbine goes very high around this turbine what we have we circulate water in the water jacket so let's consider now this is water jacket this is water jacket and water is present over here this water what it does it takes the heat it takes the heat from turbine so it absorbs the heat from turbine as like this and like this okay so heat is taken by water why heat is taken by water because we want to maintain a temperature of turbine to the ship if temperature going very high then there is a high chance of melting of various part and that's why we have to provide cooling water it's quite similar to the cooling media which we provide for internal combustion engine we know that for internal combustion engine we are having air cooled system or oil cooled system or if you are having car, bus like that, then we use water cooled system. So similarly water cooled system is there. Heat carried away by cooling water. Cooling water is absorbing heat. That means turbine is rejecting heat. And as a turbine is rejecting heat, heat rejected, heat rejected is negative symbol. That's what heat is absorbed by water. But this is a system. This is system which we are focusing. That's a turbine. The system will reject the heat and water will absorb the heat and that's why it's heat rejected and that's why we are going to consider it's a negative heat. Now what they have given? They have given per kg. Heat is per kg. So as it is per kg I will write it's a small q and that will be negative. 
Why negative? Because heat is rejected by the turbine. Heat is rejected by the turbine and is absorbed by the water. Okay. Now, if you understood this, and we have to calculate this W. So, if you understood this, solving problem is very easy now. Okay. So, let's solve the problem W. So, in this particular problem, what we are going to do? We are going to determine small W first of all, small W, and then we are going to convert into capital W. Now, let's write SFE, steady flow energy equation. Let's write steady flow energy. What is steady flow energy equation? That is Q minus W is equal to delta H plus V2 square minus V1 square divided by 2000 plus G Z2 minus Z1 divided by 1000. That's the equation. From this, what I want to determine, I want to determine this thing. I want to determine a W. And for determination of W, for determination of W, what I want or what I required is another term. Let's check one by one whether other terms are known to you or not. So now what are the other term? Other term is Q. Q is known to you that minus 2 kilojoule. That's known. Delta H is H2 minus H1. And what is H2 minus H1? That's given in the given data. That H2 is given, H1 is given, and that's why I say this is also known. This also. V2 square minus V1 square, whether velocities are given. Whether velocities are given. Generally, if I if you go through my previous videos where the application, there I told that v2 square minus v1 square is negligible. So in the problem, that's quite important. In the problem, if v1 and v2 is given, then consider it. If it is not given, then neglect it. That's quite simple. Simple thing is what? If v1 and v2 is given, then consider it. If v1 and v2 is not given, then consider to be zero and neglect it. Okay. So, but in this problem, they have given v1 and v2 and that's why we are going to consider it. Now, for determination of this, we require z2, z1. And if you see the given data, in the given data, nowhere they have mentioned that z2 and z1. As they have not mentioned z2 and z1, I am going to neglect it. So, this term is become 0. This term is become 0. Now, what is the final equation? Let me write a final equation. Q minus W is equal to H2 minus H1. That is change in enthalpy. Plus V2 square minus V1 square divided by 2000. That's an equation. Now let's put the values. That small q is given to you minus 2. Minus w I want to determine. H2 is given to you 360. Minus H1 is given to you 1200. Plus. Plus V2 square minus V1 square. V2 is given to you 150 square. Minus V1. V1 is 60 square. Divided by. Divided by 2000. Okay. That's what given to right so you are having only unknown you are having only unknown as what as w so now we can determine a small w what is small w small w is 830.43 kilojoule per kg so if you calculate by using above equation the answer which you will get is small w is equal to 830.43 and that's a positive answer. Positive answer it indicates that it will generate a work or will have output work. Okay. But I required capital W. But I required capital W. What is capital W? So for capital W, what I want to do, we know that the small W is nothing but capital W by M. Small W is nothing but capital W by M. So what is capital W? Capital W is a small W into M. We are knowing small w, small w is 830.43 and mass flow rate is also given in the problem which is 70. So do simple multiplication and with simple multiplication you will get answer as 14117.35 kilojoule per second or we can say it's a kilowatt. Okay, that's the work output which you will get from the so for the turbine, you have to understand that generally, generally in the steady flow energy equation, generally we neglect change in kinetic energy, change in potential energy. But change in kinetic energy, if it is given in the problem, then I have to consider. If it is not given in the problem, then I have to neglect it. Then I have to neglect it. Thank you very much.